Hey, welcome to Comet D and D. I'm Kevin O'Shea. I'm going to be your DM tonight. Uh, we have some lovely players with us. Let's get this thing started. Okay, go. Happy, happy Wednesday, everybody. So, okay. Happy Wednesday. Uh, that is, of course, uh, the wonderful Cassie B. Hey, everybody. I play Mr. Kellington, an alchemist artificer penguin who likes to collect rocks and sing the alphabet. It's a busy life for him. So much to do. Uh, and then we have Simon. Hello, I'm Simon Timoney. I play Officer Tom Hansen, a little sword-wielding bard goblin who's uh, kind of badass. Uh, I want to thank everybody from the Comedy D&D family uh, for getting me a birthday present. Birthday was Wednesday, and I want to th say thanks so much for getting me a guy who coughed in my mouth. Uh, that's the best thing I could have asked for. I saw it myself. <laughs> you know, I got to pay more attention to these group emails. Uh, last, but certainly not least, we have Casey. I'm Casey Muller. I'm playing Arcturian Boutis. He came to quicken spells and smite people, only he's all out of sorcery points. And actually, he hasn't learned to smite yet. He's a, he's a sorcerer paladin, but he's getting there. He's getting there. He's trying. He's practicing. He's subclassing. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah. You guys, deep into the doom fort um last week you confronted your shadow selves and were victorious um your shadow selves were able to destroy the wheel that was opening and closing the doom gate but with some quick thinking and some officer tom tears mr krillington took officer tom's once lost unicorn or sorry not unicorn un <laughs> it's both Happy yeah. hump day! It's a unicycle. <laughs> a horn. You know, I got in the D&D &D mindset, not the comedy mindset. I'm like, Una, of course, it has to be unicorn. I got you excited. D&D &D that starts with Una. Uh, yeah, that's level 20, Officer Tom. Um, the quick thinking of Mr. Krillington devised a new wheel, um, which Arzna would man for you in the short time. Uh, you guys went off to find Cars and Zars, two uh, two Shatterkai elves who seem to know a thing about what's going on at the Doom Fort. Uh, you went to their office, and there was a sign that said, "Out for coffee." You threw a stone into a dark hallway, one of the bad stones, not one of Mr. Curlington's good stones. That's Gotta right. Make that clear. Thank you. And um, yeah, you realized it smells like coffee. So here you are, unrusted, in this office, looking down a dark hallway. Um. Do I see any coffee around that I could have? I heard somebody mention that ice cream might be good in that. So. Make a perception check. <laughs> All right. Oh, a dirty 20. That's going to be one of those kinds 20. of things. You look on the desk, there is a cold cup of coffee. Is there enough for three? Depends how much ice cream I mean, you put in it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to grab that with my mage hand, and then I get out my ice cream maker. I put three scoops in it. One for okay. Tom, one for Victoria, and one for me. So does your mage hand grab the the mug or just the coffee? The mug. Okay. Right. <laughs> so grab the mug that floats over to you. And um, why don't you roll a tinkering tool check? Oh, okay. That's a 13. Yeah, 13. Okay, you guys get some okay ice cream. No, just so I think it's delicious. Maybe if we put some plankton. Maybe if you stop putting yeah plankton in it <laughs> and krill and uh, ground up seaweed. You sound like you woke up, Tom. So it sounds like you like it. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, been, uh, it's been four weeks. I haven't had uh, a long rest. Uh, I'm getting a little crabby, so pardon me. Um, maybe some of that coffee weird stuff it's will help. It's coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> um. So as I recall, we put some dancing lights in the hallway where SARS and cars were in my lit up bad rock. What do we see? Okay, the hallway goes about uh, 40 feet and you see it ends in a trio of doors. 
shut up. I take my sword. I start swinging it in front of me indiscriminately. I just start walking, not in a hurried pace, but just like uh, groggy woke up first thing in the morning. My foot's a little bit asleep. Um, my tummy hurts. I don't like coffee. Okay. Mm. You keep moving until um, your sword starts banging against the doors and like the little bit of wall in between the doors. Uh-huh. That happened. You got yeah. this one, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I'm winning. Okay, just we'll be back here if you need anything. Okay, thanks. Arturian, should you give him some of his your prayers before he goes? I, I guess I could. <laughs> Might as well. I, I hope I hope you do well, Tom. <laughs> okay, oh Tom. what? Oh, sorry, I was Are working you on sound effects. Yeah, I, I, at the doors, or <laughs> I can really hear it. <laughs> it wasn't me doing it with my mouth this time. <laughs> <laughs> Simon is very skilled with his mouth. Okay, so. Oh, oh dad did swords. not see that. <laughs> so I, I'm just saying my swords. Yeah, what do I see at these these three doors? Um, the three okay, doors, I suppose. See... Uh, one little on your Tom's left. Gonna... Oh, please. And the center door have writing on them. Okay. And it looks like um, an ancient elvish. I, I crawl up to it. I don't care. I crawl up to it. I write sucks. I go up to the other one, I write, eats, falls. Mm -hmm. I go back down and I just start just clinking away at the, just. Todd, do you want to borrow my O pen? <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, Arcturian. Yeah. Uh, it looks like something you might know how oh, to do. Oh yeah, read. I think I'm, I'm like Elvish. I, I can read so. that. I think so, yep. I'll walk up I take out bed. my 10 foot pole and ring up the rear. Um, Arcturian, yes. you look at the writing on the doors, and this is this is ancient Elvish of a dialect you do not understand. So, why don't you make an intelligence? You can add history if you're proficient in it. Do a history check. I am not proficient, however, I rolled a natural 20. Nice. Oh yeah, natural 20, you're able to figure it out a lot. And it's actually very similar. It's, it's interesting to you almost. Um, the door on the left says emergency exit. The door on the center says coffee room. The door on the right says nothing. Well, it says emergency exit sucks. Coffee room eats balls. That's what I wrote, right? Yeah. yeah that's, that's what you wrote. And I mean, I think for brevity's sake, I'm just going with the, the elven stuff. That also, I, yeah, okay. I can't read that part. Uh, <laughs> Guys, I, uh, you know, I can read, I can read Elvish, and you know, I can read Undercommon, and I feel like there's a connection, and I, I'm able to figure it out, and uh, we should go through the middle door. Uh, what do the doors say, Arcturian? Oh, uh, emergency <laughs> exit, coffee break, nothing. Coffee Maybe break, something. We should go wonderful. through the nothing door. I like the nothing, nothing. door. Okay. Like, yeah. Are we thirty feet? Are we within thirty feet? Can I mage hand it? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm right up against it. Yeah, you oh, right open it? Okay. Sw swing it away. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's booby trap the coffee door. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go into the nothing door. And when, if anything scares, then we'll go with the emergency exit, which is probably not an emergency. If I owned this place, I would make the emergency exit the emergency entrance and would just tie right back in, or there would be dogs in there or something. I would make a green sign above it that says exit. How many it would be like forts does Officer Tom own? <laughs> I'm I'm working on it. I'm flipping real estate. Uh, I'm gonna be big one day. Um, yeah. No, but if like I had like a saw kind of place or a hostel type deal, um, and I wanted to kill people, I would have a big sign that says emergency exit, and then when they go in there, uh, they have to take a key out of their eye. You get what I'm saying. I just imagine Officer Tom building like a saw mansion, but for like seagulls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seagull size, so you can massacre all your seagulls and uh, a little bit more flair than just running around the beach with a sword. Let's get Chad uh, Randall on it. Chad hey, Randall! Wait a you know what? My, on my character sheet, I did have ideals blank. But now. Is that or maybe a, that's like. That's an ideal? Is it's that, an idea. Are Once you the, bragging about not filling out your character sheet? Well, I wrote the whole thing out on the computer. And I just, but now I'm good. 
It's actually really strength, funny. He had this whole I thing have zero, of all. But I'm going to put 20 now. I'm going to. Build. <laughs> mansion. Well, should we see if the doors are locked? Maybe we can just like peek through all three of them and, you know, save Honestly, a, save I don't want to do that time. with the sword. So I'm going to do this with the sword. <laughs> Can we check if they're locked? Okay, which door do you want to check? Nothing. Nothing door. Um, the nothing door leads to another dark hall, similar to the few that you've gone through already into the Duke Gate. Yeah, I didn't think there's anything in there. It's like there's nothing in there. It's what an appropriate of, name. Some kind of Buddhist joke there or something? Um, no, it's like a restaurant I went to. It was literally called Nothing. You sit down, they serve you nothing. It's $60. It was supposed to be really good. The line was like two hours long. I don't know. Is there an echo while Tom's saying all that? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, make a perception check. Okay. Okay, that's an 18. Yeah, there there is a large echo. This hallway goes on for a long time. Um, you're not quite sure what's at the end of it. Okay. You, you could stick in your 10 foot pole and you know, you're, you're nowhere near it. I'm right. nowhere near let's, it. Let's close it and, yeah. and see if the coffee break is locked. Wait, wait, wait. Could I stick in my 10 foot pole? You don't have a 10 foot pole. You can buy a mine. It's retractable. I, I'm, uh, okay. <laughs> and I walk away. You want to borrow it? <laughs> okay, fine. I stick in my 10 foot pole. I unretract it like it's a nunchuck and weapon in there Are yeah i mean there, there is like 10 feet and you can t tell it goes on <laughs> it's just air okay. yeah i'm gonna light up another rock and toss that in do i see anything um yeah you can see it goes for at least another 100 feet i think that's okay. just the hallway let's check the other doors i don't want to go this way I yeah uh, let's go do coffee <laughs> okay All right. Please. guys open the door to the coffee room in in the center of it you you see this lit up obsidian obelisk softly spinning softly spinning this is some good coffee making equipment they have wait is anybody in the room do i see stars and cars or is it just why do you make thing? a perception check it was a seven <laughs> you you don't really, if the room is dark the, the the obelisk is gently spinning and it is illuminated so it pops out wow that thing's so cool i think i saw one of those before and you put it on the table and it starts spinning forever i just realized i don't know what an obelisk is i think simon the player doesn't know what an, an you're, obelisk you're is. you're kind of is obelisk it a, aren't you it's it <laughs> is it a it's i imagine it's like a circular <laughs> marble statue with another marble triangle on top kind of more like a crystal type thing you know think um like um washington monument is an obelisk is that this the one with that uh, abe lincoln and he's sitting there so it looks like abe lincoln mm, that might be the no. lincoln yes. memorial yeah that's the <laughs> memorial. maybe Re mount rushmore okay. no he's not on there that'd be cool if you want anyways Washington Monument, got it. So, so circular marble balancing a triangle marble on top of it. More rectangular. On top of it. More rectangular. More prism. <laughs> yeah. With another triangle. Uh, t do you have balancing a, on the tip? Do you have a crystal somewhere in your house? Oh yeah. It's like wait, crystal or a like crystal? A crystal. That too. Yes. Yeah, it's kind yes. of like a healing crystal. Somebody in Silver Lake would buy and like rub on their forehead when they're having migraines. They don't Silver Lake. Mm. <laughs> I feel attacked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dodgers are... Who um, needs to wear a mask when you can just breathe through crystals? Breathe crystal, guys. Um, Only off of the mirror. Tom Hansen developed the drug <laughs> drug habit. Yeah. Undercover. No, this is not coffee. All right. So is there a barista? Pulled everything else. Is there a barista? What is this? Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm in awe of this obelisk coffee making shoot thing. No, 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 no. Seventeen. Nice. Um, you don't see a barista. You do see there is like a bar. And it huh? has um some mugs and some like cream and some sugar, some accoutrements. 
I just go, I start, I grab a mug, I start putting milk and sugar in it and drinking that. I'll be over here. I'm wait. Daddy's waking up. Okay. Is the obelisk like warm? If I feel near it. Um. Yeah, there's warmth to it. You can feel like you're not touching it. You're just kind of close to it. What you yeah. Doing? Yeah. Yeah. So our journey, you you lift your hand and like you can feel heat radiating from it. I think I think this is their coffee maker and. Mr. Krillington, is this is this what's melting the ice, maybe? I was about to ask the, two things. One, this would be so much better if I just threw in some plankton and ice cream. So I do that because he's in awe. And also, is this what he's he just realized in an epiphany while he's getting hypnotized by it? Is this what's doing this to my world? Do I see schematics for it anywhere or anything? Um, why don't you make an investigation? Okay, this time it was a 21. Yeah. 21. So there is a little <laughs> blueprint staple to the wall, but you're able to take out you you take out your little notepad and you have your crab hanging from your flipper and you're able to kind of like sketch an idea of how you think this obelisk works. I draw that right next to Hoskins on the floor with the shoes tied. Okay. So this and that. Okay, I have to bring this home and do some tests. Um yeah, so I put as much ice cream as I can in it to try and cool it down. In the obelisk? Um, yeah. And it's full of coffee, so it's going to taste you really have good. That little bit of ice cream. <laughs> well, with my ice cream maker, I make as much okay. as I am allowed to. <laughs> can I can I use prestidigitation to make something colder, or does that only make things warmer? Oh, thanks, Arturian. Um, I don't know. What does it say? I think it's warmer. Just warmer. Um, <clears throat> great. Do I see anyone that's going to attack us and kill us? Oh, I can that's chill. Probably, that should. I can chill, warm, or flavor. Okay, yeah, you can cool it down. Great. Uh, Thanks. No, 17 perception check, you do not see anyone who is trying to kill you. Thanks, Arcturian. This is helping my world. Thanks. Um, I'm also putting more in my mug, because he, like, he still has bags under his eyes since we haven't had a long rest in weeks. <laughs> and, oh, gosh, you guys. He's starting to get the jitters. He said so much coffee. So it, there is actually coffee in this obelisk? Um, or we're just chilling the you obelisk? You guys haven't gotten any. You're just chilling an obelisk. Is there, are there any like knobs or buttons or spigots? No. There are no obvious uh, ways to get coffee out. Terrain, I can make you one of these at our house, so okay. don't worry. But I don't, yeah. is it actually a coffee maker, Mr. Krillington? This makes the earth warm, as you can see, A oh. plus N plus O minus C. Has anyone touched it yet? Me and you. It's okay. <laughs> you, should I lick it and see if it tastes like coffee? All right, Kevin, I thought he was asking me. <laughs> um, that's okay. Well, none of you have said you've touched it. You, um, Grillington have blasted it with your ice cream maker, cool it down, and Casey. Um, Arcturian has uh, pressed it to the it to cool it down. Oh, it's touched it. Okay, I'll touch it. Okay, you go to lick it, and your mouth fills up with cold brew. This this is an amazing obelisk. How, he gonna, how heavy sorry. is it? Could we could we take it with us? In our bag of holding. <laughs> do we have a bag of holding? <laughs> Yeah, hey, we still do. Hey, Arturian, I'm just going to uh, propose that maybe that's actually a sentient creature, uh, maybe from some fey oh, land, and well, you're drinking its urine. So I actually, I chilled it, and that only works on non-living material. Yeah. So is urine living material? Good point. I think once it comes out of the body, I think you could pee cold, is what I'm, I'm surmising. So and you're I saying to... all these years I could have been peeing cold? <laughs> Man. Waste of a life. Unpleasant. <laughs> that sounds refreshing. Uh, give me my autobiography. <laughs> so it's about three feet wide and five feet long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna need like a, a dolly or something. <laughs> or oh, that's not this character. <laughs> oh, are we stealing? I'm no. sorry. Are we stealing now? I just I wanted, wanted some look. coffee to go. 
forever? Yeah, forever. Oh, here, yeah, our Korean have my mug, and you can put some Okay, in. well, clearly they didn't go for coffee here. I mean, yeah. do we see any sign that they were here? Tracks or coffee mugs? Or secret passage. You make a perception check. Yeah, we have missing people, and you're stealing coffee oh, makers. All the way around. Okay. 13. You said perception? Unbelievable. Uh, well, you already made a perception check. Oh, I know. It was worth a shot. <laughs> okay, well, they're not here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, there's no secret tunnels or five. anything? I rolled no a five. Way. Um, well, the world's doomed, you guys. But start the emergency maybe that coffee is delicious. Um, Can I put that cup up to the thing and get some of this whatever coffee they're talking about? Yeah, so you clink the glass against the obelisk, your, your mug, and it fills up with cold coffee, iced coffee. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. All right. Ah. Uh, Okay, uh, should we, I, so we should we see if they went out the emergency exit or should we head down the other hallway? Yeah, I was going to say, I want to go open the emergency exit with my mage hand. So this room doesn't have any more doors? No. Mm. Um, so I have my cup of coffee. I'm just going to tighten up my robe. Um, you know, scrunch up my slippers. Wait, ro what are you wearing again? Huh? Huh? I just imagine every time I drink coffee, it's like morning. Oh. And You, uh, you want to read the newspaper? Love to. Tom's delirious from lack of sleep, so he thinks he's wearing a robe and slippers. <laughs> I am, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna also steal, well, commandeer all this stuff. So I'm just gonna take better. a couple. Yeah, I'm gonna take some mugs. I'm gonna take that sugar. Here, Do they have, have mugs on the hand check? Ooh. Right when I need you to heat up, baby. 23. Did the obelisk see it? <laughs> no, because they Wait, Arturian, didn't you take the obelisk? Or didn't um, he tell you not to? I think because it's, it's stupid. It's too big. I don't uh -oh. think. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. Here, give me one second. Okay. Give me one second. <laughs> and so, what I have is I have my, my mug, it's probably about half sugar. And then it's probably like 50% sugar, 40% milk, and then 10% uh, coffee. I think I've had that. It's good. It's, it's good. Is there any um, like cocoa here? Can we do mochas? Oh, wait. We can press the digitate mochas. You want, your, you want yours mocha? Oh. What? Cool. Yeah. That sounds good. Oh, could you make mine taste like a. Uh, like uh, Zazzla's perfume? No. That's mm. no. So good. So creepy. That delicious little. Huh. <laughs> okay, uh, so, so we're going to go emergency exit? Well, Is hold that on the plan? One second. So, as you go to clear off the table and take everything out, uh, you see from the darkness of the room, Zars and Card here. And they go, like, What do you think you're doing? Oh, you, we were bringing you guys coffee. What, what are you doing? How grateful. <laughs> and uh, you look down, and Officer Tom's drinking out of a mug that says SARS. I mean, um, uh, we're just uh, out here looking for you. You know, what are we doing? Uh, I know what you're not doing, and that's saving the world. Poor Zars, Zars in the back there. Arzna peddling that peddling that demon gate shut all by herself and you guys are sitting here on the floor curled up in a ball <laughs> who's irresponsible now oh wait i have an actual drink i don't need to mind we went to get coffee we heard somebody coming and we hid in the darkness because we are shatter kai elves of the shadows and then uh, cars pops in and goes like also it's really funny to watch people try and figure out the office yeah it's that's pretty cool. Where'd you get this obelisk from? Oh, uh, Bed Bath and Beyonders. Can't argue with you there. Uh, yeah, so can you help us? We have a kind of a situation. All right, Cars is excited. Zara is a little bored. He's like, okay, give it to me. I love a situation. What is it? Uh, Mr. Curlington, uh, I don't remember exactly what the situation is. You're the smart one, right? 
Uh, hey guys, so we went to go close the Dooms Gate by turning the wheel, and then the wheel broke, so we had to make a new one out of the unicycle, and now... Uh, broke the wheel? Uh, uh, we didn't break it. Yeah, Shadow Dudes broke the wheel. Yeah, the Poo Demons broke the wheel. Terrifying. So now Arissa's riding the unicycle to keep the door closed, and she said to summon you guys so you can help fix it. Thanks. But I mean, if you're not up for it. I think they are. They just need some coffee, right? Oh, yeah. Well, as soon as I get my mug back, you know, great. Right. Oh, well, that's, what, that's what this is. You got to let this thing warm up, too. You iced it. It's going to be it's gonna be a while before we get hot coffee. Yeah, how else is going to taste good? Here, try it. Oh, I can, I can also, <laughs> I can reheat it. Watch. Yeah. And Wait, can you make it taste like pee? Yeah. Make it taste like pee. Wow. Go. Shh, just do it. <laughs> that's, that's a police like order. You would do. That's a police order. Go. And you can give it to him. I will bust you. If you <laughs> do this. I know that's probably an entrapment. That. Huh? Make a stealth check to whisper. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Curlington sees you. It's not going to end well. <laughs> 19. Okay. Oh, fine. <laughs> um, I will make it taste like split pea soup. <laughs> yeah, he tried it. It's really good to plankton. I pass him his mug. And it's that time of the night where chat is asking for TNA. If I must, then I shall, but it's only for the team. I'm a team player. Is that what the T stands for? I hope so. Uh, team and... Team and associates? I have an apple around here somewhere. Oh, T-E-A. Oh. Uh... <clears throat> So at this point, I know that it's Zars's mug, and I'm just like making unbreakable eye contact, sipping it, just rubbing his face that I have his mug. Because people okay. get mad like at an office when you take their mug, right? Oh, he's Make supposed to help us, check. Tom. <laughs> Ooh, mama. All right. Well, if you if you want, seventeen. I'm firing on all okay. cylinders. <laughs> All right, and he just gets upset. He's like, give me my mug. And he comes I up am. and you just start flailing at you. Okay, I go like this, I say, okay. <sighs> but then I just hand it to him. I don't do anything dickish. I'm growing up, you guys. I walk away. Uh, yeah, that's Tom. <laughs> yeah, I don't like <laughs> that. That's not, that's oh, not you know? how we treat people here like in the either. Doom Gate. I'll tie his shoes together for you later. Oh, that's not how you treat people in the Doom Gate? Oh, you just treat people by like uh, letting them wander around and get attacked by, by, by shadow monsters. I send Tom a message on his sending zone saying they're supposed to help us. <laughs> Making him mad. <laughs> you drink out of his mug. You just don't do that. Okay, I said that in the sending zone. <laughs> See, I thought it was a whole series of promotional mugs, and they had the czars and the cars, and you bought the one, like, and you were like team czars or team cars. I didn't realize that was your mug. Like that was the only one you had with your name on it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm the only czars. Czars for kids. I was just getting you coffee because I saw coffee break, and I saw your mug, and I was like, oh, he must have forgot it and got lost, and then I grabbed it for you. Okay, make a deception check. <laughs> One, eight, yeah. seven, seven, zars for kids. You said deception? Yeah. Uh, two. Two. Uh, it's two. minus. A likely story. Oh, to zero. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to so say two that. Two with a minus two. Yeah, yeah I didn't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, they use their. Very curious. Anyway, can you come with us <laughs> and we'll show you yeah. the problem? We're supposed to stay pretty close to the desk. Just what is the problem? Uh, well, here, Tom can minor illusion it so you can visualize it. Am I? Did I? And I make it, I minor illusion it, but it's like marionette puppets. So I recreate sort of all of the events uh, with marionette puppets, very crudely wooden blocky types. And uh, the story goes as such. Um, I, uh, I was walking along and there was a cobalt village and I totally, I totally wowed the leader of the Kobo uh, village and Tom, skip them. ahead. Skip, okay. skip. Deception me. check. Okay. Um, and then, uh, oh my God, that's uh, 24. Um, and then, uh, so then we go okay. come here and then there's two demons and I'm like, 
slashing them and like Arcturian's down. Oh no, Mr. Krillington's down. Oh, but then I save the day because I kill them all by myself. Uh, and then uh, the wheel breaks because Pooh Monster breaks the wheel. And then I get the idea to put the uh, unicycle in its place. And uh, Arzna, who's kind of checking me out at this point, like really got the hots for me, like looking at my sweet goblin tush. Um, she starts pedaling it. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, girl, go, go, pretend it's a soul cycle. Uh, and then she's like, I could probably only do this for like a couple, <laughs> couple days at most. And I say, oh man, you must be really into me then. And then um, we came here. So we need you to maybe like trade off riding the unicycle to keep the world from ending. He had too much coffee, you guys. But that yeah, is a pretty really accurate good. summary. <laughs> This is good. Are you supposed to start it? This is great. Um, you know, we're, we're we're required to operate the front desk by the Raven Queen, so we have put in a request for a new wheel man, and it has been some time. But we we can put in a more urgent request. But it in the meantime, it seems like Arzna needs to be riding the wheel. Okay, what about if I pay if you pay me one gold to watch the desk for you and then you go help our Ar Arzna? <laughs> then you don't have to. Oh, you think <laughs> you could watch the desk? You think you know what goes into watching the desk? Oh, wait, sure do. You get out your 10 foot pole, poke around a little bit, and keep an eye out. What, you if, coffee what if the here. Shatter Kai army descends through the hallway here? Oh, we already you know what to ask them, them for. You know, to tell them that they can't come through. Yeah, they say you can't come in. Here. We'll just we'll call you if that happens, I guess. Yeah, we have sending <laughs> stones for that. <laughs> um, throw Carcass. sugar in their eyes. What's wrong with you people? Can, why is he threatening us? Why does he keep threatening us? Not your eyes, yet. Not yours yet. I'm just saying the enemy. Very well. Cars, stay here. I'm going to go look at the wheel. Okay, that's all we need yeah, help with. Solid plan. So thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Sounds you, you, want us, you want us to go with or you want us to stay here? What, what do you want? You want us to watch the desk? <laughs> yeah, Cars car tells you to, to stay here unless you really want to go back to the wheel. I'll watch the desk. Um, thanks. I will start walking to the desk. It's a bad idea, guys. Okay, so you guys leave the coffee room and you head back to the main room where the desk is. Yeah, I'm taking all the packets of sugar I can. So, <laughs> about that. You know, and Cars goes, those aren't free. Someone has to pay for those. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just uh, keeping the world safe. Okay, bye. Um, Cars is like, look, I know you guys mean well. I think the desk will be okay for a while. Uh, we're low men on the totem pole here. Low people on the on the person totem. I don't I don't know the regulations of the desk. Um, you know, we put in requests to the Raven Queen, but the Raven Queen is very busy. So, I mean. Arzna will probably be down there for, I mean, at this rate, five, ten years at least before, you know, we can, unless something major happens, I can bring the, bring the, the Queen of Shadowfell here faster. I, I think that's what we're looking at realistically. So I, I'm going to go help. We'll set up something. We'll make it work. Uh, you know, you guys have been have been great help. Um, if you look in the desk, look in the top drawer, there's 60 gold. Um, take that for your troubles and be on your way. Hmm. That was too easy. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hey guys, what did they just say? It's not really important. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh. yeah. Sh sh do we go through the emergency exit? What's what's through the emergency exit? Is Raven Queen hot? And what's down that hallway? 
Oh, the hallway? That just takes you further and further into the Doom Cave and eventually Shadow Fell itself. So that's how you would get back there? Yeah. Oh. And you want us to go there and, and get the Raven Queen's attention and have her come sooner than five to ten years? <laughs> um, Is that what you're asking us to do for 60 I think gold? that would be really dangerous unless you had an offering of sorts to the chef, or to, you know, to the Raven mm. Queen. Oh, I have one offering. Coffee? You talking about coffee? And I drop my drawers. Okay, so when you guys got back up to the, the office, Izzy and Goron are there, and... I dropped my drawers. Hey guys. Yeah. Izzy takes a photo me. and is giggling. Izzy, he's so funny. Izzy, he had too much coffee. Did you see that? She took a picture. <laughs> she can't believe it. I'm actually wearing like six pairs of underwear, so I don't know why like, this is you, supposed to be. Did you get jump into some, just get out of some cold water? <laughs> I know, because uh, my muscles are really my bulging. I'm wearing like six, seven pairs of underwear. You can't hardly even see like my knees. Um, we don't know where he got all those underwear. You know, we just, just go with it. <laughs> I think in game, I don't think you could have been wearing seven pairs of underwear and uh, poop into the well like that. I think it would have been a much more difficult situation. <laughs> You're saying if I had six pairs of underwear on, I would have like, what, plus four AC? Something uh, like no, that? No, you'd have to make a dex check to like not poop yourself to, when you're trying to poop on yeah yeah all right noted uh i'll put that in my personality traits <clears throat> um okay well I'm glad let's catch him up shows are you know whatever episode this is the like here. that's what's really yeah. important. I, i've been meaning to do it this whole time i haven't even settled out. on it i haven't even settled on a name yet i mean uh <laughs> what are these numbers even um cool izzy goron guys uh they are uh we're, we're, we gotta find the shadow queen it's the Raven Queen. Sounds like she's uh, gonna be mad when she finds out you said that, Tom. Wow. Uh, <laughs> heard she's pretty into me. Uh, and then Cars is like, no, guys. I mean, if you go there, you're going into a foreign plane with no necessary chance of coming back. If you maybe find something on this plane that you think you could offer to her and get her attention. That would be a strategy, but just running in there, I think would be a bad idea. What is she like? I like to get my uh, wife stones with the ravens. You know, ravens, like. crows, obsidian, <gasps> trinkets of shadows. No, no, hate seagulls. Oh. Hmm. Hate Kobolds? <laughs> monks? Kobold monks? Kobolds? Is he just staring at you and like starting to put her guard up? No, I just, I'm just thinking We're about not talking about you. Yeah. yeah, sweetie. We're not <laughs> talking about you. Uh, stop thinking everyone's always talking about you all the time. Anyways, um, okay, so she likes birds? That sounds pretty weak, but okay. She likes ravens and crows and rooks. And queens. I'm a bird. So did she well, like... queen things are tricky. Like queens don't necessarily like like they like themselves, but they don't necessarily like. Oh, uh, so, yeah. so ravens, but not queens. Okay. Yeah. Why does she like penguins? Because we can't fly like her. Definitely. You guys, I dated a girl once who uh, liked. Uh, she uh, says they're pretty mouthy. <laughs> Whatever. I remember that when I see her. I dated a girl once who was into like ravens, always asking me to get her ravens and crows and stuff. She was manager at a Hot Topic. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I know what we're dealing with here. Okay. Uh, so Tom ever had a girlfriend? I think Tom needs to make it himself. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna auto fail that. Is that okay? Yeah. That's okay. Fine. Yeah, auto fail. Um, guys, I can <laughs> disguise myself as a raven. So I can look like a giant raven. Okay. Guys, I, I don't think she is a god and lord of a plane. She doesn't want a small goblin disguised as a raven. She'd wow. want some something of, of power or magic or of faith. Jesus, um, who are you? Her single best friend? Ugh. I don't think I we have heard, anything like that. I heard just that's what I'm saying is that you don't have that. You oh, what? might go out and explore your plane and find find something like that and come back. What about a what? magical that? whistle 
that orbits around your head and makes you <laughs> shut up. more charismatic. Shut that, up. I mean, that's I got pretty plus cool. Four shut up, Arcturian. And, you know, it whistles, which is like a bird, <laughs> kind of. And it's shiny. Like a bird. And exotic. Oh my god, yeah, I like will like stab you. you said, wow, you're describing me. For real this time. <laughs> uh, Penguin. So Cars makes a dex check. Yeah. He just rips and grabs the, the iron whistle. It's like, hey! You guys, you guys went through the old wheelman stuff. Is that where we got that? Shit, no, Shoot. I got this. Is I, that what they call him? I like to turn, I turn to sideways me. so my rapier's on the other side of my body. Oh my god, for reals though, Kevin, I just adjusted my entire character <laughs> sheet, spell sheet and lead sheet, to reflect that, and now it's go. Um, oh well, I'm glad you filled out something on your character sheet. Uh, you know, there there was actually a letter saying that you know uh, that whistle was to be used uh, to help uh, secure the wheel from from the shadows, and whoever did could then keep it as a token of of the wheel man's thanks. S okay, sincerely, make a the wheel man. <laughs> Can I help him? Do we still have a uh, How would you help script? him? Yeah. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, a minor illusion. It's 21. Again. Okay. He believes you. He, he, tasks, he passes it back to you. Give me that. And okay. in return, I will play you a song. But all I have is my whistle. I'm not like that kind of bard. I only have a whistle. I blow the whistle. Did they you, like it? You don't have a whistle sound effect? <laughs> yeah. It's very yes. like 2013 hip hop, just whistles. Um, <laughs> mm, I have a cow. I have a black blacksmith. Close enough. Okay, blow the whistle. <laughs> okay, blow your whistle. Make performance check. Um. Oh, you're gonna need sweet. some guidance for this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I'll take that natural one. Um, everyone is unimpressed. Again, Izzy is, is filming you fail. And, um, yeah, Kara is just like, please stop doing that. Um, yeah, so to get back to material playing, um, you know, you can go through the front gate up the, up the well where you guys came, or you can go to the emergency exit, and, um, that's less predictable where it'll take you, but it'll go somewhere on your plane. This is, what does she want? So to make sure I got this right, emergency exit takes us to another plane and the hallway takes us to the shadow. The hallway shadow takes fell. you to the to shadow fell. Yeah. Emergency exit, it goes somewhere on your home plane. Well, our home plane. Let's do that, emergency exit. It's not a really Wait. emergency though. Does an alarm go off? Like Glen River Falls or like Snowflake Island home before I go in there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Glen River Falls and Snowflake Island are on the same plane of existence. Oh, it could be anywhere. So it could be anywhere. That sounds fun. <laughs> uh, I'm like, Trian, you're the smart, responsible one. What do you think? Wait, I thought you were the smart, responsible one. Oh, Jesus. Um, so wait, we're, are we trying to find a You present? said you wanted to pick, so we're letting you pick. <laughs> I never said anything about picking okay it seems uh, clearly we i mean it was kind of creepy outside the doom gate we should go through emergency exit. i don't want to go in that way it's yeah some more tropical or surprise island what's the worst that could happen <gasps> yeah <laughs> yeah especially because we haven't had a long rest or anything <laughs> oh yeah can we long rest in that uh break room yeah yeah and then there's coffee if we wake up yeah or in the uh, in the train guy's little room um, which one would you rather take a long rest? That one has a bed. Even though I sleep on the ceiling, technically. And there's six of you. And... Or ooh. five. All right. Uh, I, I call pillow. Tom can fit on a pillow. I call Goran as my pillow. <laughs> I'm going to make a nest as usual. Uh, make a persuasion <laughs> check. Who is doing this? 14. Not everything is about Tom. It's a 14. Uh, Goron's into it. <laughs> All right, you guys take a long rest. Oh, nice. Wait, did we level up? 
No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, I was hoping. Okay. Wait, you don't you level up every time. Up. <laughs> don't you level up to. every time it's you take a long me. rest? Isn't that the rule? We fought so many booties. <laughs> well, fine. I'll roll for my elixir. You guys, there today. We have a healing elixir. Um. You're going to die and won't be able to drink it. I'm giving it to Arcturia. No, give it, it, give it to Tom. Tom, I give it to you. No, then I don't want it. That's die. not like a well, threat. Then, then whoever, die. whoever needs to heal him can just grab it off his body. He doesn't want it now. Yeah, but I mean, you and I can both heal magically. That's what I said. Okay, give it to but Izzy. He won't take it. Give it to Izzy. Here, Izzy, you can have it. <laughs> uh, Izzy's like, oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're so strong. You won't need it. But so we're going to dr drink some coffee and then go through the emergency <laughs> exit? Is that the plan? Yeah. <clears throat> Guys, I feel better. Sorry if I was a little bit crabby back there. Uh, and I back say sorry. Back there? Little, I say, <laughs> Cars is like, thank you for the apology. I appreciate it. I say sorry, little plank. No, I was talking to the crab. Um, sorry, I was crabby. Uh, it was you... fine. I won't remember that at all, says Mr. Curlington. I'll remember that when you don't need my healing later. Oh, no. When you don't die. <laughs> All right, kids. You ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, Cars, can we go back through the exit if we don't like where it's, like, if it puts us in a lake of lava or something? Or do we have oh, to no, put it's something? Oh, no, it's a one-way deal. Hmm. Uh-uh. <clears throat> okay. Can we put something so in the door? The doom gate is, like, the softest spot between your realm and the realm of shadow fell. But this is the softest. There are other places where, you know, it's a softer spot. This is kind of attuned to that, and you'll pop out there. Uh, okay. I think only one of the places on. is above the ocean, but I don't, I don't really remember. Well, we have a penguin. That should, we should be fine in the ocean. Yeah, I can, yeah I'll tow you again. Got bears oh, yeah. love oceans, right? <laughs> I can tell you. Yeah, there's fish. They can catch the fish in the ocean. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Are you okay. going to swim there? If we open the door, can we, like, look through it? Oh, yeah. Let's let's open the door and look through it. <clears throat> um, yeah, so you open the door. It's very twilight zone. You just sort of see this whirling portal of darkness. Whoa. In a floating eye. Cool. <laughs> now, with one way, does that like mean if you put your hand through and then pull it back, like you lose your hand? I mean, I think Carter Car is like, I've only really gone through it a couple of times, but I think once your hand's in, you're going in. There's no, there's no pulling back. What about like a stick? Can we put a stick, stick in and pull it back? Uh, you can try. Can we try? Yeah, sure. I don't have a stick. Anyone have a stick? Yeah, I can try my 10-foot pole. You I might, don't want to interrupt. You might lose it forever. Uh, only half of it, because it's retractable. It's only uh, five feet of it. <laughs> um, I'll do that. Okay, so you put it in the 10-foot pole. You feel it being pulled in. And I need you to make a strength saving. Okay. Can I grab on and help? Strength? Okay, thank, yeah. thank you. For, <laughs> no, for saving throw. Oh, okay. Uh, two... Two. Mr. Krillington <laughs> is pulled into the door. Okay, I guess we all go through the door. I'm good. Um, <laughs> I was erasing my character sheet, and I think... Well, my... I mean, if you're going to stay in the sh in, uh, Doom doom Gate, I think uh, we'll, we'll come back at 10 o'clock for your separate camp. So you can take over Izzy. Yeah, yeah you, can have, you can have her. Ugh. <laughs> All right, let's go in. Okay, um, Mr. Curlington, roll a d10. Oh, it's 10, huh? Okay. Arturian, why don't you roll d10 as well? Oh, where's my like, two? Four. 22? One d10. Oh, two? That's a simple. <laughs> two? <laughs> Is 
I rolled two d10s, okay. like the percentile thing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's what I thought was. Well, I was doing that, but I was just trying to split the roll for some. Uh, dramatic and they happened to be the same number, so it worked out, yeah. made it easy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, got some good news. This was the result with the least amount of falling damage. Oh, that is good oh. news. You guys take six points of falling damage. That didn't hurt so bad. <laughs> and you are in total darkness. Okay, I'm gonna make another headlamp. <laughs> I get one of my rock bad rocks out, light it up, and tie it to my head. Do I see anything? I'll make some <laughs> dancing lights too. Um, so you guys pull up some lights. You appear to be in a cavern. A long cavern. You do not see an end on either side. This is worse than the hallway. Yeah, maybe we should have just gone back to the <laughs> scary <laughs> like, path. Sorry, I fell in, my pole got stuck, and... <laughs> uh, Arthur, why don't you make a survival check? <laughs> that is another natural 20. Oh, natural 20. So you've never been here yourself, but as a half drought, you immediately know what this place is. You are in the underdark. Guys, it's really dark here. We're underground. Oh. I think Mr. We're... Krellington speaks under common. Hey, Sorry. me too. Let's talk oh, under common. That was funny. Okay. Wow. Where'd you learn? <laughs> your, your accent is so strange. <laughs> he learned it back at home trying to find out why the world was melting. I was in one of his books because oh. they keep it. They're close to the Earth's core. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you guys talking about me? <laughs> yes. Oh, Tom, you're so funny. <laughs> um hey can you tell me a little bit about the um under common i mean the underdark me? arcturian uh, yeah well to be honest uh i haven't spent a lot of time there but i've read some books that's where i picked up the undercommon uh good, good food um no well are, are there spider women yes um but you might not like them but they'll like me. Nobody likes me, but they will. They're gonna. Like I like everyone. Something about you, yes. Mm, nice. You. <clears throat> Gentlemen and Izzy. Is Goron here too? Oh yeah, Goron and Izzy fall in right after you guys. Wow, Goron. Hi, Randall. Uh, <laughs> here. Goron and Izzy, I can't believe you guys didn't talk us out of this. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> now, Goron, since you're a bear, you always know which way is north, right? From the moss on the trees or something? Uh, you know, he's like, well, that's more of a, a stereotype, but like, I I know some things. Let me let me take a look. Well, he got a plus five to survival. So 17? Yeah, he's like, well, you can tell from the slant of these stalagmites that, uh, that direction and he points to one end of the tunnel cool uh is that the way we want to go then i think we're lost oh yeah <laughs> i i don't know that i i don't does the underdark open up in the north um does it <laughs> tom wouldn't you know that i think you have a lot of experience come here mr krill high five. Oh, <laughs> what what happened? I thought we were, You're being so mean I, I before we, we a, fell into this other earth, and then you had him, some you coffee. Joke, and and then then I was gonna, okay. <laughs> That's what you get, Mr. Tom. <laughs> so you guys are deep in this cavernous tunnel, and you. What do you want to do? Um, I think someone told me like you should follow the fresh air. So everyone, hold still, and feel <laughs> for like a draft. Um, do I still have my 10 foot pole? Yeah, it, okay. it fell. Um, yeah, it's still in one piece. Oh. Um, so our journey, make a survival check. Can I, can I just use the natural 20 from before? <laughs> uh, that's and... an 11. I guess I can pray for guidance since I'm just 
Yeah. Staying yeah, there. Yeah, you can, you can do that. It's 13. <laughs> you feel the slightest breeze to the north. That way. I know my boxes are open. I can feel that. All six of my boxers are open. I have I you considered <laughs> putting like half of them backwards so that the the flies don't line up? I should pull my shorts up so that I get my full walking speed, huh? I would put yeah. them all backwards because then would it? Never mind. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I start ritual casting detect magic. <laughs> 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 It'd be easier to use as a well, you know. Um, ritual casting detect magic. Yeah, we can do okay. ten minutes for that. Yeah. Cool. Should I disguise myself, you guys, just to like get around a little easier? Do they like goblins down here? Mm. Are they goblin friendly? Mm. Or are we like meat? Slaves, uh, yeah. Slaves. Sex slaves? Uh, maybe Sometimes Arcturian slaves. should Sometimes. look like our leader and we can dress up as slaves. Oh, oh. or do you want to, sorry, not to be racist. Do the old captive thing? Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> I think and that'll work. Like, How did you capture that <laughs> amazingly talented goblin and that weakling bear? But that goblin, my gosh, he just looks fierce and ferocious. All uh, right, I'm going to go ahead and roll for uh, personality. Um, I'm going to disguise, well, after I'm done ritual casting, of course, I'm going to make myself look like a prisoner. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and, no, I'm not going to. And I'll just start rubbing ice cream on myself, and I'm going to roll in the dirt. What are you trying to do? I'll make myself look like a captain. <laughs> okay, make a... Do you have a disguise kit? Uh, no, and I don't want to get rid of my woodworker's tools oh, to make one. I have a disguise kit you can borrow. Oh, I was fine with the dirt and ice cream, but thanks. Yeah, I can okay. actually... You know what? I'm going to cast disguise self on myself, but I can uh, help you with the disguise kit. Oh, thanks. Because I have have that as well i'll need or, a lot of help because it's minus two <laughs> okay you can make a deception check with advantage oh thanks. and Word. some prayers and, and thoughts some thoughts that's c-h-o-t okay so 17 minus two is 15 plus uh 17 17 okay. you look like a captain okay it looks like arturian <laughs> punched me in the eye and like punch me in the stomach, right? <clears throat> Just say yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to look like an old Dwergar. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go, you guys. Can I use the bathroom one more time? Okay, make an intelligence check. I don't, uh -huh. aren't, the, aren't the Drow and Dwergar like sworn sworn enemies? Exactly why you would be captured, <laughs> baby. Oh. Uh, that's a 15. I just look like dinner. Okay, you have a vague idea of what a dwarf car looks like. Yeah. Uh, Purplish. Uh, it's like a dwarf. White beard, purple dwarf. Balding. Yeah, purple dwarf. Uh, Wasn't there a TV boobs. show? Um, scaly hands, just calluses everywhere. <clears throat> That's me speaking under comments saying that he broke my rib. Well, it's racist. <laughs> no, I I got it from the Klingon. <laughs> I thought, uh, didn't we decide, okay. didn't we previously decide Undercommon was French? Oh, did we? Dies <laughs> Oh, because okay. of Boutiz, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. So do I need to do the accent with my old man voice? Yes. I'm an old French man. Au revoir. <laughs> I forget what that means, but it means something. Well, our Terry must look so fierce having us as prisoners <laughs> speaking. <laughs> all right, so you guys are all disguised. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I guess except for Go Run and Izzy. <laughs> no, they're yeah, they're except for Go Run and Izzy. Maybe <laughs> Izzy is my cobalt assistant. <laughs> oh. All right. So what's the backstory, you guys? We need to come up with a quick backstory. Okay. Goran, I was trying to steal his money. You were traveling through the Underdark with your pet bear. Mm -hmm. And uh, a, a wizard awakened him. And oh, then... wait. I'm, I'm a bear folk. Like, I'm a whole race of people. I'm not oh. an awakened bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> uh, we, we were traveling with my pet bear, Mr. Stinks. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Mr. St- Mr. Mr. Stinks. Stinks, the pet bear who doesn't know any healing spells. Right. <laughs> That's the one. Yep, because he's a bear. Right. They don't want him, okay. We don't want them to suspect you of anything. Uh-huh. You know. Uh, uh, do you Do you already have a collar, or should we make one? His eyes light up with no collar. Oh, okay. I mean, we're just trying to play the roles here. All right, let's just go. We'll be, we'll yeah, just 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 improv with us. Yay! He's got dark vision. All right. Favorite play would be a wizard if he played D and D. Sorry. <laughs> Who would be a wizard? A flave of flave. Flave of flave. He dresses like one. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Uh, Bart. Bart. Should we take? Yeah. Uh, should we take this opportunity <laughs> to say uh, thanks everyone for watching? Uh, please go to comedyandd.com and you can catch up on our latest episodes as well as sign up for our mailing letter and get to know the cast. Send us hate mail or mostly me, but uh, things like that. Yeah, follow us here too if you're watching, if you're just browsing by. And hey, uh, if you like it, give us a subscribe. You know, if you're on Amazon Prime, you got that free subscribe. Got a free give subscribe. Us a, give us a mm-hmm. subscription. Fans uh, only. <laughs> Just kidding. That gets rid of the ads. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All that fun. Uh, okay, so give me a marching order as you guys head into the Underdark. I'm I will the go, captain. I will go first with the Wait. With, with a rope. Wait, yeah, Sarah, Terry, could you put a rope around my neck? No, so should we look more the, realistic? Should we have the magic rope? <laughs> yeah, my rope, rope of climbing. climbing. And just, yeah, uh, fashion it so just in case I'll have it's it around on our uh, wrists and wiener or something. Yeah. I don't know. That, that was the purpose of that. I don't know. How, <laughs> they taught us. They taught us differently in police academy. Okay. Oh yeah, Steve Gutenberg. What did he teach you? Uh, it's put the rope around the weenie. Get the criminals. Um, I have manacles. Um, should I just kind of put them on? Sure. Yeah, I'll put them on, but loosely, so they're not actually done. It uh-huh. just looks like it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so me and then uh, some captives. Okay, archery, make, make a perception check. That's a six. Okay. We're like dark Turian. <laughs> That's racist. Ça va? <laughs> va. Un, deux, trois. J'ai Dix, fait non. dans le bois. Quatre, and then, <laughs> Arturian, yes. I need you to make an intelligent saving throw. <laughs> That's a 14, but let me know if I fail, because I might want to add 2d4 to it. Est-ce que c'est mon sûr? Croque, monsieur, coquet. Avec moi. That means with me. Tom speaks uh, under common now. Oh, that's right. It would be. Voulez vous coucher avec moi? Ce soir. Okay. Dis non. Okay. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying that. So, Car, out of I the agree. darkness from inside you, you see, you see the strange four-legged creature emerge from the darkness, and it claws you for seven points of damage. Oh my dieu! Ow! And coming from the side, the two war hammers fly through the darkness. Uh, they go after Mr. Curlington. They miss. And then, ooh, from the other side. We've got a 21 to hit. 21 hit, Tom? 21 hits. <laughs> yeah, 21. You're hit, you're hit twice with Warhammers as um, four Jorgars, two on each side, come out in the darkness. Who are you? Where did you come from? And every roll initiative. Mon frère, ah. mon frère, qu'est-ce que c'est? Pourquoi? That means my brothers, my brothers. Toi. What are you doing? Toi. <laughs> I'm just yelling three. Dis neuf, 19. Hut, hut. <laughs> wow, you're Dude. good at French. <laughs> Kev, how much damage did I take? Did you 
you tell me? Oh. Um, you took 12 damage. All right. Good thing we had that long rest. How are they? Um. Oh, that's your one. Oh. I should have spoke up. Okay, I rolled a six. <laughs> okay, yeah, six see. for Mr. Curlington. Yeah. Tom, what did you roll? Eight, please. Arcturian. Thirteen. Oh, yeah, I'll take the second to thank Sirenscape for the sweet D and DJ music we got going on. Visit sirenscape.com. Yeah, sweet, sweet Sorry, I was reading music. my spells. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so, the bad guys go first. The two guards. They miss again on Mr. Krillington. <laughs> it's his great and, disguise. Oh, uh, Tom. Uh, 19 to hit. Uh, I'm going to cutting words. You don't have to cutting words. I do. No? That's Wait. Lore, lore Bard. Uh, I, I was trying to trick you. <laughs> yes, I get hit. I, I, I get hit and it hurts. Yeah. Uh, so oh, take another oh, six points of damage. And. I'm okay. This thing emerging in the darkness, we now see it. It looks like a brain. It looks like this large brain on four legs. It goes out to spite the Arcturian and misses, but you need to make another intelligence save. That's a nine, but let me know if I fail so I can use favorite of you the You fail. Uh, does a 14 fail? Uh, 14 does not fail. Okay. Music's really whimsical. This is perfect for a battle. It's a very happy battle. <laughs> well, there's a brain that crawling around, wrong. like clicking. Oh, do. cute brain. Making clicking noises, probably speaking French. <laughs> or <laughs> under common, I'm sorry. Mr. Stinks! <laughs> Mr. Stinks, I've just like been Swiss. hit. <laughs> I've just been hit for 18 points, Mr. Stinks. Ugh. I think so. Yeah, I think there it's a so TPK. Cast, so it's... What? How many hit points do you have left, Tom? Oh, uh, a lot, a lot. Six. I have six left. All right. Goron knows that it's easier to bring people back up. But, um, he cast. Spare the dying, or sorry, no, not spare the dying. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not dead. Doctor, give it to me straight. Yeah. Uh, I'm not no, he dead, does you the sacred asshole. flame on the intellect devourer for three points of damage. So how many again? Three points. Three. Uh, Arcturian, you're up. Thank you. Okay, I will bonus action Shadow Blade, and I will attack the brain. Okay. I assume it's dim light in here. Yes. It's headlamp on. <laughs> That's good, because my first one was a natural one. My second was 16 to hit. Uh, that hits. I should put ice cream on it. <laughs> I might take you up on that after I try one thing. <laughs> Uh, 15 damage. Psychic damage. I don't know if that does more to a brain or less, possibly. Uh, you know, it, it does the regular amount, but okay. it does not like it. That's a lot. Uh, okay. That's Arcturian. Tom. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna take off my shackles, which weren't even on in the first place. <laughs> See, I got you. Didn't see that coming. Um, I am. Who's nearest to? You know who's nearest to me? I was being tugged. By uh, <laughs> there are two Dwergar attacking you, and then let's say you have Goron. You, I, kind of nearby Goron, Izzy. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Mr. Kolka. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and attack one of the Dwergar. 
Okay. Uh, that's going to be a 14 to hit. And that misses. That misses. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take my bonus action off. And that it is less. So I miss twice. And I said, oh, mon dieu. My god, that's forsaken me. Um, Tom speaks under common somehow now. Cool. <laughs> He's just um, saying it in common. <laughs> he doesn't know filling out the languages. I didn't fill that out earlier, you know? <laughs> I got this character sheet looking good. Uh, <laughs> Izzy, the... I'll go ahead and throw a bardic inspiration to uh, Izzy. Use your bonus action with that. Oh, well, I don't care for rules, you know. Okay, so Izzy... Hit once. Um, yeah, that hits two. And then will she hit? And then she misses on the much lights. So that's going to be eight, 15. Izzy, you're so strong. You got this. So strong, so brave. Says the captive. And <laughs> yeah, so she does 19 points of damage to one of the guards. Wow. wow. <laughs> that takes it. Mr. Curlington. Okay, how far away from us are they? You're engaged with two dwarf guards. Like they're right Oh, up. they're both like within yeah. five they're, feet. Of they're me. attacking. Oh gosh, I was gonna cast something else. Um Okay, fairy fire on uh and it's twenty feet, so whoever's in it. The two on me obviously, and then I guess that's it. Okay, I think you can get all four Dwergar, but not the uh, intellect power. Tom is a Dwergar also. He. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so one of the ones on you passes. I uh, need a 14. So. Yeah, and both of the ones on Tom fail. Oh, so both on Tom are fairy fired, and one on me is. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. And we're back. To the bad guy. Bonus action. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. My magic stones on my bad rocks. Okay. Magic stones on the bad rocks. <laughs> yeah. And on Tom, that's a 17 to hit. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 21 hits too, so you take 12 damage. I'm down. No, I'm not down. You have a, an elixir. All right, I'm good, you guys. <laughs> and that's a crit against Mr. Curlington, so you take 12 damage. Oh, that hurt this time. Now it's yeah. real bruise. Yeah. On um, Arcturian. That's a crit on Arcturian. So the <laughs> what kind of crit? Claw slashes out you from the brain. You take 14 points of damage and intelligent saving throw. Seventeen. Um, okay, you save. <laughs> and that's the bad guys. Yeah, um, Goron. Goron's next to you, so you can do a level two. Cure wounds. Four. Oh wow, that's max. You get sixteen hit points. I'm just gonna assume <laughs> that means me. Who's who's he casting it on? Oh, he's gonna cast it on Tom. Okay. Oh, wow! Thank you. Are Gordon. you looking bad too? Uh, yeah, I'm looking <laughs> pretty bad. Uh, well, too late. Oh well. Sorry. Yeah. I'll be fine. It's yeah. just a giant brain. You'll be fine. He can't really do anything with a bonus action. Yeah. Um, so Arturian, your turn. Okay, I'll attack. Uh, that's like a twenty-four to hit. A hit. Uh, 11 psychic damage. And you cut the brain right down the middle. You lobotomize it. Nice. Uh, and I'll turn in uh, bonus action, throw a dagger at, uh, I don't know, the one attacking Tom, I guess. Okay, yeah, roll the damage. damage. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. That Double is a crit. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Double D. <laughs> Three points. <laughs> that is four points of damage. Oh, wow. So much. Three point count. It's, it's yeah. standing. It's like you get it in the side of its head. It's still standing, but it's barely hanging on. Uh, what's Arcturian? Tom. I'm going to shriek 
as loud as I can, and I'm going to bonus action, disengage from this mess. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm naked and afraid. Um, and I'm going to need, uh, let's see, I want to do two of the Dwergar and the brain. And I would like for them to make charisma brain's state. Dead. The brain's dead? Yeah. Well, well, not very smart, was it? Uh, I'll go ahead and make three charisma saves for these uh, <clears throat> Dwergars. Uh, Bane? I'm casting Bane. I want to take a little bit of their oomph away. Um, what's your DC? <laughs> My DC is 14. Yeah, they all pass. That's, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Um, do don't, I think away as far don't as you have like a million charisma? <laughs> he didn't write that down. So. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's fine. That. <laughs> okay. Izzy. Do one attack on the beaten up guy. Oh, she misses the beaten up guy. Oh, she crits against the beaten up guy. And he straights up. Maximum pull, knocks the knife in further. He falls down dead. Then she's going to use her martial arts deck on one standing. That's going to hit. And oh, that's the wrong deck. Uh, she does uh -huh. six damage. Good seal. Uh, that was Izzy, Mr. Curlington. All right. Um, is there, I'm still engaged with two, right? Yep. All right. I'm going to hit uh, one that's right in front of me with my hand axe, one that's fairy fired. Okay. Oh. Okay. That doesn't hit. Uh, and I'm going to get a bonus action cast healing word on Arcturian. Okay. Thank so, you. So that's going to be oh, four points of healing. <laughs> I rolled, sorry, I tried my best. I rolled a one. Ah, uh, that's my turn. That could be the difference. <laughs> that is my turn. Yeah, that won't. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's back to the bad guys. Uh, one Dwergar is going to attack Izzy. Uh, he hits her for six damage. Uh, Two on oh, Mr. Krillington. No. Those are both going to hit Mr. Krillington for 12 damage. Oh, and he falls to the floor. That's what penguins, I think, would make. Like a squawk. It's supposed to be a squawk. And anyways, he's on the floor. All right. <laughs> uh, Goron's up. He's going to attack the fairy fired one that was on you. Uh, oh, fairy fired, so he gets advantage. So mm. that hits. It's probably not very fired anymore. Oh, you're right. Um, yeah, so we'll <laughs> say he misses. Shut and then up, he's going to use Healing Word. Mr. Krillington, you got six hit points back. Oh, Mrs. Krillington? Un, do, you turn into a bear. <laughs> uh, that was Arcturian. Actually, I mean, Mr. Mrs. Krillington, is she a penguin or is there some cross species? She's romance? a penguin. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, not that there's anything wrong. Uh, he hasn't seen her in a while. Okay, I'll, I'll run over and attack one of the ones on Mr. Krillington. Uh, does a 17 hit? 17 hits. Oh, nice. That's 11 psychic damage. And I'll bonus action healing word, Mr. Krillington, as well. Oh, thanks. That's six more hit points. Wow. Ooh la la. Back Tom, to... you're up. Okay. <clears throat> um, boy, uh, I I want to uh, I want to try to plead with one of my uh, Dwergar brethren. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to run up, I'm going to shriek, and I'm just going to yell at them and, and hit them with my swords. So I'm going to go ahead and take two attacks. Okay, on which one? Um, the, the one? The one? The, the I think there's one on you. The right? one the one that was on you? Okay, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made <laughs> me great, man. That All right, so <laughs> that first hit is going to uh, be a 19 plus, that's 24 to hit. That'll hit. That's going to be six points of damage. However, I'm going to use one of my uh, Bardic Inspirations to perform a... There's another guy within five feet of him. We will not... No, he's dead. He died. Well, I want to hit him anyways. Okay. Just get killed him. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> She's so, so strong. Ooh, <laughs> max, baby. So he's going to take a total of 12 points of damage with my skimmy tar. Uh, and I have uh, AC equal to that roll. My second bonus attack missed. Okay. Okay. Mon frère, pourquoi? And then, uh, from Izzy. Uh-huh. Our first attack misses. Uh, second attack hits. Third attack hits. So that's. <laughs> Just so fun. <laughs> Yeah, are you still, do you still look like a Dwergar? Oh, yeah. Okay. Your makeup's starting to run a little there, too. Yeah, so Izzy <laughs> he goes, miss, hit, and then punches it, and the Dwergar falls down. Wow, you're so strong. Oh, so brave. Oh, yeah. Wow. What happened to Tom? Is that coffee? It's like, why? It seems like I'm always get the killing blow. Uh, <laughs> that takes us to Mr. Curlington. All right, I'm still engaged with two. Yeah. Um, I, did the magic damage happen to do more than regular damage? I didn't catch that. No, it did the same. Okay, cool. I'm just going to hit one with my hand axe then. Oh. Oh, does a 17 hit? Um, 17 hits. Oh, cool. Okay, that's going to be uh, six points of damage. Oh, wait, plus that. Okay, eight. Eight. <laughs> eight, okay. eight damage. And, um, Arturian, are you looking okay? Ah, uh, you know, I'll be fine. Right. Tom has a healing potion. I do. <laughs> so I'm not going to heal you yet, <laughs> and I'm I'm okay. All right, that's my yeah, turn. Yeah, Izzy. Oh, uh, how, yeah, how's Izzy looking? Uh, <laughs> you looking weak a now? Of damage. She's fine. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> back to the <laughs> One on Officer Tom, that uh, misses. And one on Arcturian, that's gonna miss. And one hits Mr. Krillington for Oh, jeez. Six? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Reed Wergar, still left. I have one um, spell slot left, so I'm trying to like. <laughs> save it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll save it. <laughs> We have Izzy and Goron, and sometimes Tom's alive. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there are only two Dwarves are alive. Oh, because Izzy's out. so strong. <laughs> I guess, whatever, she's all right. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was looking up what cool stuff Goron can do. Uh, he's just going to attack with his battle axe. And he misses our, our turn. That's right, Goron. Keep keep swinging away. Yeah, misses things. I mean, go around. Um, I'll keep attacking that one on that was on Mr. Gunnington before. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 16 to hit. That hit. Oh, almost max damage. Eight and wow. seven. Wow. That's uh, 15, uh, 20 psychic damage. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Wow, I was trying to think of something cool to say in Undercommon, but... Uh, this enough! <laughs> Just that makes it for 19! Uh, and uh, I guess I'll try and stick a dagger at the other one that's right there on Mr. Cullington. Well, I think they're curious. That's like a 9 to hit. Okay. Does that uh, That misses. Okay. Sorry, I thought it was a sneeze. <laughs> I always have to sneeze when it's my turn. Yeah! Wait, is it my turn, Kevin? Uh, no, sorry, it's oh. Izzy's turn. Oh. She's gonna run that over sucks. on the last one. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Miss. Hit! Let's say hit. And she goes six damage. <laughs> and it's your turn. Mr. Curlington? Mr. Curlington, yes. Mr. Oh, Curlington. the sneeze didn't come. I had no idea. All right, there's still two. Wait, one died near me, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, one is up. Here comes his huge hand axe. He rolled a one. So nothing happens. 
And, uh, yeah, he's gonna stand there. And... Maybe you should have reflavored a halfling instead of an Aarakocra. Yeah, <laughs> like, get lucky instead. <laughs> I wanted him to be able to swim. Oh, right. <laughs> so... <laughs> It'll come in handy. Just yeah, it already has. And I had the tow Arcturian on my barrel, even though he could have walked. <laughs> so... Okay, it's the bad guy's turn. And you see... He bites down on his tooth. Why don't you guys make a wisdom check? Ooh. All of us? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Save a uh, check. 18. 18. Uh, uh, Tom, you've seen this before in the in the police key dead. He just bit down on a poison capsule and um, his mouth starts foaming with blood. He says, I would rather die than be be captured by, by drow slavers. You broke the truce coming this far. They'll Uh-oh. get you. My brethren will get you. And he oh. falls yeah, down. Yeah, we weren't trying to capture you, dude. Was this the wrong disguise? It's a little too late. You <laughs> just killed yourself. And we actually probably could have been friends. And it, We were probably going to kill you. We weren't trying to take you alive, certainly. Yeah, yeah dude. Uh, but you're, kill- you're, you're killing yourself now. So. Oh, that's what you get for trying to kill us. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Okay, uh... Well, I'd like to run over to Tom and say, there's still one more Durgar. Kill him. Oh, okay. Oh, Tom. Oh. Is that you? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Who's Tom? Who is this Tom? I only know those fools from uh, from the club. Yes, the Durgar club. Uh, where, you know, Durgar shake it. I think at this point you would know it's Tom. Mm-hmm. Seems like Um. <laughs> oh, I took them under my wing. Little did I know. Is this like the Moose Club that seniors like to join in like Lake Tahoe? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> like, I, they also have like any any kind of animal, right? There's a, a lions, lions Club and an Eagles Club, uh, Moose yeah, Club. I don't know what they do there, but they always have like bingo and Taco Tuesday. So. Okay, well, Anyhow. we may have started a, some sort of race war here. So, well done. I mean, I'm, I kind of do that. Don't we do that everywhere we Was go? Was this because of our disguise? Or... <laughs> so, um, but so luckily, it's possible that nobody knows about it. Yeah. Does my detect magic detect anything? Or does that go away when I die? Because it's a ritual. Yeah, you see there's a <laughs> faint magic coming off of one of the Dwergars. What kind of magic come wait off of Tom or different to- well <laughs> yeah there's, there's a whistle on Tom okay an actual dream. but the other ones uh, you you see there's some magic coming off of um, the boots of one can I grab those with my mage hand and uh, yeah. take a look and maybe do an arcana check to see yeah. what they are. 10? <laughs> Would you like guidance? I, that might help. I mean, I could ritually cast okay, identify. 12. Uh, or Tom, yeah, I didn't know if you. Yeah, let's just, we could spend 10 minutes with Tom, this if, while I look uh, at these boots. I'm like, oh, yeah. The it says, uh, okay. Made in the Underdark on the bottom. <laughs> uh, what size are they? <laughs> um, they look, they look like they'd fit Arcturian. Oh, Arcturian, these might fit. They're you. these kind of green, leafy boots. I don't think my talons can fit in them, and I don't usually wear shoes. So Have you considered talons. wearing shoes? I mean, I know that your talons look normal to you, but to all of us, they're quite foreign. Yeah. Oh, and- maybe I'll file them down or something, and rub some ice cream like a polish. Yeah, it's really yeah. hard to like eat around you while your feet <laughs> are just there staring at me. It's like I can almost taste them. It's like some kind of subconscious subliminal thing. I think I I'm gonna fl- rub my. T- I could flavor the nails, but not the toes. I'm sorry. Oh, we want to flavor my nails like some plankton. <laughs> Snakes. <That's very> <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> uh, sorry, so Kevin. I take okay. these ten minutes. What kind of boots are these? They are boots of elven kind. What? Cool. That's cool. Oh. Despite the name, they may be better for you, Tom. Mm. <laughs> uh, is there anything else on the brain or any of the other guys? 
Um, there's nothing on the brain, but one of the other Dwergars, that's not Tom, um, <laughs> his what? armor. Who said that? <laughs> his armor also seems to be mad. Oh, what kind of armor Ooh. is it? I'll take another 10 minutes to identify you. <laughs> it's an Edmantine chain mail. Oh, Ooh. what is that like medium armor? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's medium. I'm in scale mail. I don't know if somebody else wants that. I, I don't know I, if I could wear I it. No, I, I don't think. <laughs> it's, yeah, he's a penguin in scale mail, everybody, for everybody wondering. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Penguins, what Ooh. kind of armor is a penguin wear? Scale mail. <laughs> wow. Let's look it up. I was going to Google it, but I'm going to respect the it re DM. It requires 13 <laughs> strength to wear. Gives you disadvantage to stealth. I don't want that. I have 11 strength, so... Tom? Um, yeah. My, go wrong? I have 10 strength. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm wearing Arturian? it. Arturian? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't say he wanted it, so I wasn't sure if Arturian wanted it. He probably feels greedy because he got boots and now this well, I, armor. Like I said, so the... Well, the boots gives you advantage on stealth. And so if I'm wearing chain mail and Tom has the whistle, we both have disadvantage on stealth already. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, it's a chain shirt. Oh. <laughs> Just a shirt. It's a Mantine chain shirt, so it's medium armor. Wait a minute. Oh, Arturian, you look great in your new clothes. Well, <laughs> what, what does that give you? It's 13. Wow. So fancy. Um, I, <clears throat> I don't think I should wear it, actually. I think it makes my armor class worse. Makes your ass look big. It makes big. you look big? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you're a swords bard now. Tom, you can wear it. Oh. Uh, chain shirt? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Tom it would, needs it. What's, what's needs your AC time. right now? I think it would, your AC, it <laughs> only... So it would be the same AC, but since it's adamantine, you, critical hits against you would be normal hits. Oh. I think that would help Tom out. And you already have disadvantage on stealth, right? Oh, no, wait. <laughs> so, yeah. Chain shirt doesn't give you disadvantage. I think you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Look, Tom, maybe. You know. And Arturian, while you're going through this, what do you find? Where was it? It's just on this page. I gotta mark it. It just looked good on me. <laughs> Wait, is it really big on Tom? <laughs> Since he's small, <laughs> like, is it huge? Like, well, it was like Dwergar size, so it's a little bit big, oh. but it doesn't look too bad. It's like an XL T-shirt. Um, <laughs> you should tuck like those that in, tall tees. What are they called? Oh, wow. <laughs> and then, loving this new. Arturian, I've been noticing anyone else. You find eight gems. Arturian always finds gems for his cool ball collection. <laughs> <laughs> you can go decorate your balls to go I, with your new shoes. I do like shiny balls. <laughs> uh, the, are these gems pretty nice gems? Yeah, they look like they're about uh, 50 gold pieces each. Guys, I, I found some gems. Ooh. Oh, is that all of them? Or did you hide three like last time when you found the gold? <clears throat> it's not that important, is it? <laughs> it's cool, Terry, and you helped freeze the warm stuff earlier. It's fine. We need some gems, right? For like identify or revivify or. And my toenails. Oh. Yeah. The precious, anyway. precious toenails. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh... oh. No, please. Okay, so the boots of Elven Kind. If I wear them. I'm very sneaky, but if Tom wears them, it, it counteracts the whistle that's constantly blowing somehow. Hmm. I think that would be worth it. Well, Can I, I guess... give you stuff? Nah. Um, <laughs> you don't want this... Uh... Okay. Sneezing dust? Dust of sneezing and coughing? Uh, honestly, the only thing I want is the whistle. <laughs> and that sort of defeats the purpose. Oh, okay. Well, everybody wants that whistle. Have you heard that whistle? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's think about that. For, for right now, um, sorry, I'm going to break character. 
as Tom, but uh, there's a thing about Dwergar's slaves. We broke some kind of truce. Yeah. And, okay. So, hopefully no one was watching. Can I investigate? Yeah, should we look Uh, around? Yeah. Yeah. DM, can I investigate the... Yeah, so start investigating. Um... You guys also remember your sending stones weren't working when you were another plane, and they start going off pretty rapidly. Um, Ooh, there's like... about seven messages for Tom, <laughs> three for Mister Krillington, and one for Arcturian. Let's read our Arcturian's messages. Arcturian's a Tom Brady fan. <laughs> So that's all kind of going off now. So what was your investigation role, Tom? Uh, It was... um, Sorry, that was... uh, And... 12. A 12? What were you looking for? I'm just trying to piece together the relationship between the brain and the Dwergar and to sort of understand what that was about. Is it a pet? Um, Does it have treats? Does it have a collar? A brain collar? Yeah, you see that has like a, it sort of chained and looks like they were they were using it to attack people who come by. Oh. D- does it have like legs or is it like a floating brain? No, it has legs. It has claws. <laughs> that was what was coming out. Oh, I see. Like four, yeah. right? Yeah. Like a half spider. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Or a double person. Or like a, double a, person. like a dog. Or a dog. Yes. <laughs> well, um, Arcturian, maybe since I'm the Dwergar, I should be bringing you in. Okay, let's switch it around. Hopefully we don't run into Drow next. Yeah. I can wear the same disguise. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm gonna put my manacles on you, but not for real. Can we, can can we still like, wear the rope of climbing? Can we somehow disguise ourselves as kind of like halfway between a Drow and a Dwergar? And then, you know, like fully commit once we run into some people? Is that possible? And look, what we could say is like, no, no, you don't understand. We're not doing actual slave stuff. This is role play. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is here's kind of what we do. Kink thing. We have a drow and a Durgar both at the front of the line holding the rope with all their surface slaves. Their buddies. What? High five. Ooh. High five. Not no surface slave. I, like I like that. Oh I'm yes. The under are. slave. Oh yes, you are, Mr. <laughs> Stinky Feet. Uh, no. I don't remember that. Mr. Mr. Pedicure. I'm gonna call you Pedicure because <laughs> it's ironic. Okay, so Mr. Curlington, you look at your phone. You see two messages from Mrs. Curlington. Oh, Mrs. Go, oh, hold on, guys. I go walk into All a right. corner because I, I like to pace in my text and talk on the phone. And I don't want anybody reading what I reply. What does it say? Um, first one just says, I love you. Can't stop thinking about you. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I love you. Uh, too. Second one is, when you get a chance, let me know how things are going. I send her a, a quick, I draw a picture because I don't think my sending stone. And I, um, I somehow minor illusion or something across the, the teleport sending stone uh, micellar network thing. And I sent her a picture of what we're doing, like a selfie. So I send me as a captain. And you see Tom and Arcturian uh, looking like scary ca- uh, captors. And then you see all the surface slaves, AKA me, Izzy, and Goron. And I do this with my flipper and then, the, yeah. And they say, love you. <laughs> anyway, anyway, and then I walk back to everybody. I say, nothing. I just had to go. <laughs> and then I go talk to her. The <laughs> third one's from Chad Randall. and just says, Sah. Oh, I text him back and say, are you on your way still? <laughs> are you done looking at real estate? <laughs> he goes, yeah, on my way. Uh, okay, see you soon. <laughs> yeah, right. When it, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll be right there. <laughs> I think he's drunk. Chad, and then I text back, Chad Randall. And then I put my phone or my stone back in my pocket and put the rope of climbing back on my flipper. Okay. Okay, you, ready. You get another text on your stone. This is why you don't have a phone, you guys. Okay, I bring it back out. What does it say now? What? All caps. It says Chad Randall. Oh, jeez. Okay, I put it back in my <laughs> in my pouch, and I tie myself back up again. If it, if somebody else messages me, I'm not looking. <laughs> K. 
Can I make a slight hand to message Mr. Killington without <laughs> Okay. Make a slight of hand. Oh, better not catch you. <laughs> Eleven. Oh. Make a perception check. <laughs> Mr. K. Oh, seven. Oh, uh, you don't notice. You don't notice. What's that? <laughs> Did you guys feel that? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I think I have another message. I, I look at it. What does it say? It says, what you reading? I reply. <laughs> and I say, wait, does it say who sent it? Is it yeah. a Korean? Yeah, it says from our Korean. Okay. I say, make sure to send this to 10 people before midnight. <laughs> Otherwise, your best friend is going to go into a coma. I and then am? I put it back in my, and I put that back in my pouch. <laughs> uh, what, what was the message that I got? <laughs> um, I mean, before that one. <laughs> yeah. Yours says, um, uh, you know, it's one of the. It's a new number, and it says unknown contact, possibly Lilium. I was peeking over and looking at his sending stuff. Oh, Arcturian, you better make sure you know what that is before you open that. It might be a spam. I'm sure it's I fine. know what you've been going on on your sending stuff. What does it say from Lilium? Who I definitely remember who it is. <laughs> uh, leader of the Vulpins. Right, right. Yes. yes. And um, says we need to talk soon. Okay. I'm not going to reply. You're in trouble. Oh, you should always reply. Tom. <laughs> uh oh. I know what's coming. I'm, I'm viral. I have a meme again. There's just me standing in six pairs of underwear with my shorts around my ankles. No, no, not that. Oh. Um. <laughs> well, that's new. I like how that's worse than him pooping over a well. <laughs> you have three messages from your police boss being asking for updates. Oh, okay. And you um, have a series, just 14 kind of rambling messages um, that seem to be coming from the family. They're saying that they've had a hard time tracking you, that they finally got your speaking number and they don't have to use their magic cards anymore. And have you had any progress with Xenix? Oh, Xenix. <laughs> oh, I need to write this on my character. All sheet. I know is I woke up with a letter on my chest that says Xenix and I, I never found out what that was. Oh, I should have. Don't they make televisions or something? Um, okay. Um, good to know. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm, I'm going to process Zenith, this. Right? Zenith? Oh, right. right. I'm going to think of what to say. Um, can I reply next episode? Yeah. La -da 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 -da. All right. We can pick up next episode. Um, oh. and see if Tom gets fired from both of his underground organizations. That would be... So are, be so are, Tom. are we ending this episode with all of us just like on our phones, basically? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like real life, just you know, like the end life. of every party, everybody's just like, oh, yeah, Twitter, Snake. That was so funny. <laughs> What's uh -huh. the uh, Facebook equivalent for the Underdark? Is there a thing yet? The dark web? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, fine. That'd be like, uh, what was, oh, I can't remember it. The one that Pornhub bought. Uh, it's a blog. Um, Tumblr. Tumblr. Thank you. I forgot what it's called. Chris. Pornhub by Tumblr. I thought they, yeah, they did. Didn't Yahoo buy Tumblr? I thought uh, Yahoo no, buy they Tumblr didn't. And picked off all the porn. Yeah, um, after the porn, and then Yahoo went under. So I guess um, <clears throat> somebody else. Too bad that was Pornhub. the only porn Anyways. site on the internet. <laughs> Someday someone will build another one. Anyway, <laughs> thanks Simon, for tuning in, everybody. Our expert of all the porn on the internet. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Yeah, uh, thank you. Follow, Dark give us subscribe. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you guys for all catching in. Have a good night.
Wednesdays at 8. Wednesdays we at 8. We are here. We also have a podcast. Link is on our tweet. Bye, Happy everyone. Hump Day. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Night. <laughs>